Hey, what's up guys? I'm Theo Joe, and today we're going to talk about high gain antennas for your Wi-Fi router. Now, if you don't know what these are, I'm going to explain all that, but basically this is a regular Wi-Fi antenna that came with my Linksys router, and this is the high gain antenna that I had to buy separately. I picked up four of these, one for each to replace on the router. Now you might look at this and say, wow, this one is way bigger, high gain, that must mean it's going to produce a stronger signal, right? Well, not necessarily, and that's what I'm going to go over today. I'm going to explain what exactly the high gain antenna does, and then we're going to test to see if it actually is able to increase the Wi-Fi range in my case. So first, let me explain what gain actually means in terms of a wireless router. So when you have a router, it's going to have a constant signal output, say 10 milliwatts, and that's the power that goes to the antenna, no matter what kind of antenna it is. And you can't change that power it's set when it's manufactured. So the question becomes, if you can't increase the signal power, how are you supposed to increase the signal range? Well, you can't increase the power, but you can redirect where that power goes. And you can think of gain as a way of focusing the signal to where it can best be used, and that means giving it further range where you would more use it. Now, that really sounds abstract, so let me show you some diagrams so you can visualize what's going on. For a regular antenna that comes with a router, the signal output might look like a sphere. So it's going to have the same signal strength equally in all directions. And for some people that's going to be good, like in a multi-floor house where you want some of the signal to go into the upper floors, some of it to go into the basement, and then obviously you want it on the same floor. Everything needs to be equally distributed. But say for example you're in a one floor apartment like me, then I don't need that signal going up and down through the floor and ceiling. I don't have any floors above that. So it's being wasted just going to my neighbors. So what a high gain antenna does is manipulates the signal so it goes further in one direction and less in another. In this case, it goes further out horizontally and less vertically through the ceiling and floor. And this diagram shows that pretty well. It kind of flattens out how the signal is broadcasted. So it's not increasing the signal strength at all. It's called gain because it takes that incoming signal and redistributes it and gives it a stronger output only in certain directions at the cost of others. And this should be better if you're able to keep all the devices on the same plane as the new signal pattern. So when you look at this antenna and see how much bigger it is, you might be able to see how it's doing this. Basically, this long antenna is creating another longer plane that goes outwards laterally, and that's why it also says that you need to keep the antennas vertical when you plug them into the router. So they all have to be vertical. You can't have it down sideways or anything like that. And that also means that if you put this in a multi-room house, the upper and lower floors are probably going to get a much lower signal because they're not on that same plane that's being broadcasted out from this as opposed to this one. But at a cost of about $70, does this even make that much of a difference even on a single floor apartment like myself? Well, that's what we're going to find out. We're going to run a couple tests. First, I did a test with the regular antennas that came with the router. I was about 35 feet away in another room on the same floor, but it was a couple feet difference vertically. I used a Wi-Fi analyzer app to look at the strength of each signal. So at 2.4 gigahertz, the signal strength was about negative 54 decibels, and at 5 gigahertz, it was about negative 52 decibels. And just so you know, a more negative number means a worse signal. Then I did a speed test for both signals, and the results were for 2.4 gigahertz, it was about 77 megabits down and 40 megabits up, and at 5 gigahertz, it ended up being about 173 megabits down, 169 megabits up. So obviously we would expect the 5 gigahertz to be much faster, although neither of them came anywhere close to the maximum bandwidth, which is about one gigabit up and down. Then I swapped it out for the high gain antennas and did the same tests. The Wi-Fi analyzer app this time around showed that the signal strength for 2.4 gigahertz was negative 55 decibels and for 5 gigahertz was negative 52 decibels. So they were basically the same signal strength. As for the speed test with the high gain antennas, the 2.4 gigahertz showed 75 megabits down and 40 megabits up. And at 5 gigahertz, it was 183 megabits down, 176 megabits up. So the difference was, well, there really was not much of a difference at all. The signal strength was basically the same between the low and high gain antennas, no matter whether you were looking at the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. And for the speed tests at 2.4 gigahertz, it was basically the same between low and high gain antennas. 
and at 5 gigahertz, it was just about 5% faster with high gain. So to answer the question, do they actually work? Well, I guess the answer is maybe sometimes. And with a price of about $70 for a set of four, I don't think they would be worth the money for the improvement that I got or lack thereof. I think for most people, it would make more sense to just get a wireless extender. It's probably gonna be a lot cheaper and much more effective and especially if you get the kind where you plug in an ethernet cable and then it basically creates a whole nother access point. So would these work better in other environments and other homes? Yeah, I'm sure they would, but unless you know that it's gonna be better, it's probably better to just save your money. Regardless though, if you still do wanna check these out, I'll put a link in the description for Amazon, that's where I got these, so you can at least check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learned something. If you didn't even know about these before, eh, you can still not buy them. <laughs> though of course I would still like to know what you guys think down in the comment section, let me know. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And if you wanna check out some other videos, you can just click on these right here, even if you're on a phone. And don't forget to subscribe, I try to make new videos at least three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, so it should be worth it. So thanks again for watching guys, I'm looking forward to hearing from you, so I'll see you next time, have a good one.